Hey kids, thanks for joining us today on the internet. We're here at Fire Station 2. I'm Lieutenant Damhoff, joined with Firefighter Landy. Firefighter Landy's driving Engine 2 today and he's gonna show us all about it, every single compartment and everything there is to need to know. What do you say, are you ready? Do you think we can go inside? Yeah, that's a good idea. Can we look inside this door? Yep. All right. I'm gonna go first. Oh. So this is pretty fancy. Yeah. What uh, what are these up here? What is all this stuff doing? Well, these are so we can talk to each other. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yep, I can. Oh, I can hear you too. This is so that when we're going down the road and it's noisy and we got the sirens on, that maybe the lieutenant can be telling the firefighters, hey, this is what we need to do and get there or- Oh maybe help them on an address or something like that. I see. Good. These seats look kind of fancy here. What is, are these the special backpacks? Yep. That yep. Firefighters wear. Yep. These are special backpacks that we can get into while we're going down the road. And we do this all with our seatbelt hooked actually. So it's, it's kind of difficult sometimes. Is that what this is? Yep. Yep. You got to I can't reach seat, my buckle. You got a seatbelt right here. Oh, oh that's that so way, safe now. Yep, that way you can be safe and you're ready to get off the engine when we get to a, a, a fire call or an incident. So then if you just lean forward, then they just snap out, yeah. right? Yeah, lean forward, you can just, oh. just like taking your backpack with you. Yep. All right. That's pretty neat. Yep. And Another fun fact, uh, if you don't have your seatbelt hooked, it makes a loud buzzing noise and everybody gets annoyed with you, so you have to buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> well, what else is back here that's so neat? Um, well, there's more tools here. Oh, what are those? Elevator keys. Elevator keys? Yeah. What do you use these for? Well, sometimes people get trapped in elevators either on campus or some of the uh, apartment buildings. And we attempt to possibly free them from the elevator. This looks like a goofy key. Yeah, yeah, that, that goes in and falls down and it can, it can move a, a mechanism to unlock the door. Well, this one does the same thing. Yep, there's different, different manufacturers need to take different kind of keys. Hmm. Yep. Hey, while we're back here, yeah. what is it? What's this look like? A special type of tool here? Yep, this is a thermal imaging camera. Okay, what does and, that show? And we're in the process of getting new ones of these, but this it helps us find. Oh, so does this show the difference in heat? Yeah. So yep. if someone's in a building, then it shows you the heat from where they are. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We also have this cabinet here with all kinds of fun stuff in it, our medical bags. Um, More tools. Our AED. What Take does that this. do? Um, we can hook this up to a patient and shock them if needs be. Okay. Um, on a CPR call. We don't like to do that, but it sometimes happens. This is a monitor, a multi-ray. What does that monitor? Um, carbon monoxide, um, oxygen, the percentage. It's it it monitors uh, I think five different things. How about this? This looks big. <laughs> what does this do? That's really bright. Yep. Just another light. Oh, it's like a flashlight. Yep. But it's a really big one. Mm -hmm. So is it fun driving the fire engine? Yes, it is. It's fun. It's um, sometimes a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. What's the funnest part? Is it the siren or the air horn? Uh, both. Both? Yep. Yeah. And um, how long have you been driving this one? Um, for a few years now. 
Yeah. I've been at station two for seven or eight years in a row, so I've been have been driving it off and on for quite a few of those. Oh, that's good. Does it go fast? Yes, it does go fast. Yeah. But safely, it goes fast. Oh, okay. Yep. Within within reason. Oh, there's lots of neat stuff over there and buttons and knobs. What do they all do? Well, this is the steering wheel. This is the parking brake. Right here, you probably can't see that very well. This is how we shift from neutral to drive or reverse. Um, there's buttons here to run the pump and the foam system and our air compressor, our calf system. Um, the heater, the air conditioner, stuff like that. Is that what these buttons do? Yep, that's what those buttons do. That's true. Uh, these buttons up here run our emergency lights. You push this one here and all the lights come on. This one here, you can turn the side scene or the rear scene lights on. They just brighten things up a little bit. This one here, you can you can go to an electronic siren instead of an air horn. Um, this one here is our arrow stick, our directional arrow that we saw earlier. Oh, that's the one on the back. Yep, that's the one on the back. Up here that you probably can't see is sirens, different types of sirens, a whale and a yelp. Um, you can turn it to the PA system and actually talk through it. Oh. We don't do that very often. Lights. This looks like a computer over here. What does this do? Well, that's so that the lieutenant, or who's ever in charge for the day, can see where we're going. Um, if you hit dispatch, it'll kind of give you a an idea of the nature of the call. If we're going to a medical call, it kind of gives some information. Sometimes it will give a map if you're not quite sure how to get there. Oh, there's a map. Yep. Um, it also stores information on different properties within the city, like maybe where the fire alarm control panel is or where the utility room is, or where the uh, elevator control room is. Okay, and so it has a lot of good information on there. Yep. I see, so it tells you right where the address is and where you need to go and yes. what's going on there. Can you can you update my, my uh, Facebook or my Twitter? Um, or I need no. to check my MySpace account. Does that, does you have MySpace <laughs> on this one? No. No? No. Okay. We might get in trouble if we did that. <laughs> Okay, this looks like a radio. Is that what this is? Yeah, that is. Talk on here. How we talk to each other and how we talk to uh, Ames Dispatch. You say and breaker, breaker, one niner. This here is a rubber duck. Um, no, you're supposed to use, not supposed to use tin codes. You're oh. supposed to use just plain English. Okay. So you can use that, that button or this button. Yep, that push to talk button, you can talk and it'll come through your headset. Oh, let's see, what does this button do? Oh, that was the air horn. That's the air horn. <laughs> and is this a walkie-talkie, like when you're calling other people and they can talk on it? Yep, yep, we can set that to the same channel as the engine and, and all the other apparatus. And I could talk to you as a lieutenant or I could talk to another firefighter. They can call me and ask for a fan. Hey, I need you to bring me a fan or I need you to bring me a tool. Does everyone carry a radio? Yes, they do. So everybody has their own radio. Yep, and we just got new radios. We have to take very good care of these. These are brand new. They look pretty fancy. Yep. Where Where is the engine in this? Where's the motor? Okay, it's actually right here. Right, right in here? Right between us. How, yep. do you, how do you check the oil on it if it's right here between us? Well, there's actually a little door right back there on the doghouse. You can you can open that door up. Why is it called the doghouse? Um, 
I think just because of what it looks like. Oh. You could uh, open that door and check the level of the oil and the transmission or... Is there another way to do it that's more fun? Yeah, we can pull it outside and raise the cab up. The whole cab lifts up? Yes. Awesome. So how do we lift the cab to look at the motor? Okay, so we got this button right here. And this little switch right here. Okay. Um, there's the batteries right there. What do the batteries do? They make sure that it can start and it runs all of the all the electronics, the lights and everything. Oh, that's pretty neat. That right there is the pump. What's the pump do? Uh, that pumps the water. Oh, that's where the water comes from. Yep. It goes from a tank or from a hydrant through the pump and out through the hoses. Well, that's pretty special. How old is this engine? This engine was uh, built in 2010, I believe. Okay. And it is the newest, right now, the newest engine we have. I believe we just got a new rescue, but this is the newest, newest engine we have. And we're in the process of ordering a new ladder truck and we'll get a new engine at Station 1 pretty soon. This is pretty neat. I think I learned a lot. I feel a lot smarter already. Me too. Thank you for showing me Fire Engine 2 today. You're welcome. See ya. Bye. That's pretty neat. Neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, how neat is that? We use it quite a bit. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, that's pretty neat. Well, that's kind of neat. Pretty neat. Well, that's pretty neat. Who would have thought of that? Well, that's pretty neat. Can you tell me about... Well, that's pretty neat. It's very neat. Yes. Cool. Cool. Well, oh, wow. Huh. Huh. I'm really good at math. That's that's pretty special. Oh, I feel that so way. safe now. I feel safe. I feel so safe. This is really good. Goody. That's pretty fancy. Yes. This is pretty neat. That one. Neat. Well, what else is back here that's so neat? Yep. Then we, hook, we hook these. That's pretty neat. Well, that's more neat stuff. Pretty neat. 